If you do not know the story of Florida Minister George Allen Rakers, A, sit down, B, here's the 10 second recap. Minister co-founds prominent anti-gay group. Minister claims to turn gay fellows straight. Minister allegedly rents boy to carry luggage around Europe. Rented boy tells reporters about alleged naked massages with minister. And in our number one story today, George Allen Rakers has resigned from his group that claims to cure the gay away. A candidate for governor in Florida has also been dragged into the Rakers controversy and new details of the minister's relationship with his rent boy have emerged. Michael Musto joins me presently. This was the picture published a week ago on the Miami New Times website. Reporters were tipped off that the anti-gay minister George Allen Rakers, one of the founders of the Family Research Council uh, on the left, had visited rentboy.com to hire a male prostitute to, quote, carry his luggage. The rent boy, with the blurred face, calls himself Lucien. His actual name is Giovanni Roman. Confronted with the accusation, Roman confessed to naked massages but no sex. Last Friday, Roman, unblurred, told CNN about the minister's alleged request for a cover-up. He just didn't want me to mention the massage aspect. You know, that's what it really was. he asked you not to? Yeah, he had asked me not to. Today, the New Times published new details of the interaction between Rakers and Roman. Quoting the website, Roman explains he gave Rakers the same massage, which involves a technique the minister calls the long stroke twice before traveling together. Must be a medical term. Today, Rakers gave the long goodbye to the National Association for Research and Therapy of Homosexuality, NARTH. NARTH. He resigned his post as one of the country's leading gay to straight conversion experts. It was in that capacity that Rakers had been hired by Florida in 2007 to testify as an expert witness in a trial regarding the ban on gay adoption. Florida's attorney general, now the Republican candidate for governor, Bill McCollum, paid Rakers nearly $120,000 for his expert testimony, which was later deemed not credible. McCollum's 2007 letter requesting Rakers' testimony was printed today in the Miami Herald. Quote, our attorneys handling this case have searched long and hard for other expert witnesses with comparable expertise to Dr. Rakers and have been unable to identify anyone who would be available for this case. Michael Musto joins us now, the Village Voice columnist and author of the blog DailyMusto.com. Good evening, Michael. Hello, Keith. Should any of us be surprised by this particular formula anymore? Absolutely not. It is so trite. You show me a homophobe without a rent boy, I'll show you a political candidate without a love child. <laughs> it's just getting ridiculous. The second somebody starts screaming anti-gay rhetoric, it's a matter of moments before, before you find the hustler in the closet with a card swipe machine and a publicist. And, and this is, this is this, uh, like a standard psychological formula, right? I mean, you, you can't possibly be this because you do so much to oppose it in public, correct? Well, you're uncomfortable with your own leaning, yeah. so you make it un un impossible for everyone else to do it because you can't deal with it yourself. It's, it's, he puts the broken hip in hypocrisy. <laughs> James Dobson does not want to admit this, but Minister Rakers was one of the founders that helped found the Family Research Council. Uh, I suppose with that sort of background and the word research and every other organization that's connected to this, why didn't he do, the guy just come out and claim he was doing research? Yeah, he's been researching his entire life, researching uh, hair color, body types, confidentiality <laughs> agreements, but there's no justification for what Rutgers does. He is a slime, let me get serious here, yeah. who has shattered lives with the hypocrisy. And he even, as you say, testified against gay adoption. His idea of gay adoption is squiring a hustler around Europe for 10 days. This is like Polanski family values. Um, Rakers claimed that the, his uh, his friend here was carried to uh, rented to carry luggage around Europe because he had a bad back. And uh, Roman says there were nude massages. There was no sex involved. Who are you believing? And second part of that question is this phrase, he was just carrying my luggage. Has that just been added to the lexicon of colorful euphemisms? It's permanently in the lexicon now. In fact, Tiger Woods now has 15 luggage carriers. Uh, Jesse James has a Nazi one. Shall I pack your bags, Air James? Uh, as for your first half of the question, I'm leaning with Roman side of the story because a hustler never lies, except for last night. And, um, you know, if somebody needs a luggage carrier, you just tip somebody a dollar. You don't need to pay $200 an hour plus chocolate on the pillow. But then again, when in Roman, uh, the, thank you. Uh, the, yeah. Perhaps the worst. Roman. 
Noman, yes. Sorry. Or, or, or you, I think you're the, allowed. Joke the, the poetic works. license is okay. And by the way, on the scale of one to ten on your your jokes, that was like you know in terms of dangerous. Negative it was five. Like, no, it was like a three. The, the, <laughs> but isn't the worst part of this though the, the reputation of this this august group North? Uh, they, they're shot. I mean, are there any reputable gay to straight conversion groups still around? And what about those uh, straight to gay conversion groups? What about them? Uh, there is a straight to gay conversion group. It's called Liza Minnelli. <laughs> you date her, you start flouncing around in a boa singing. Lady Gaga songs. <laughs> As for the gay to straight, I'm sure North, which should change its name because there's a lisp in there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I think they could just hold up a naked picture of records and convert you immediately without even electroshock. I mean, stars would be turning straight faster than Justin Bieber. Michael Musto, the blog is dailymusto.com. Uh, great, thanks. I'm not going to say anything about the latter, that last joke there. Just at all. a joke. Okay, I love you, fine. Justin, a lot.